that's all right, just heads up. I've got a cat and a four-year-old and I'm responsible for both of them. So you're, you're born now. And uh, lo and behold, yeah, the cat comes in and bites you. So that, and then the four-year-old, you just do, can I have an ice cream? <laughs> Hello and welcome to the engine room from Finally. Um, today we have Neil Lloyd from Tech Timeout. Welcome, Neil. Thank you very much. How are you? I'm all right. As you can hear, my voice <laughs> is a little gone. Um, partly, I felt a bit rough. Secondly, um, you know, shouting at the England team last night. Um, a little, yeah, a little bit worse for wear. How about you? Yeah, no, we're all right. I've uh, I've got a bit of an injury in the calf, but we'll come back to that a bit later on. Oh, okay. Uh, but yeah, what a what a game! What a game! What a result! Um, maybe football is coming home. Who knows? Yeah, it's oh, definitely coming home. We went one nil down, um, and uh, it was a nerve wracking experience. But uh, there we go. It, it was almost weird. Like when I watched the quarter final against Ukraine, and um, we were four nil. We won four nil. It just didn't seem right. It was just. Hey. Like, it was far too calm. My nerves weren't shattered, and that isn't the way we support England, is it? Um, no. So it was far more. It was far more back to normal last night. And, uh, but anyway, look, really great to have you on the engine room. Your first job is to give us um, your thirty-second elevator pitch for Tech Timeout. I'm just going to yeah. give you a little stopwatch out to make sure you know you follow all the rules. Oh. No one else does either. Yeah. Um, and. Yeah, your elevator pitch, um, over to you. Okay, uh, so well, we all spend far too much time on uh, our technology um, and it's proven that the overuse of technology is, is, not, uh, is not that good for you. So at Tech Time Out, um, we help individuals have healthier relationships with their technology. Um, and we started off with our Tech Time Out 10 challenge. Perfect, well, you, you managed to give us 12 seconds of Tech Time Out there, um, Neil, by... Uh, <laughs> By completing that in about 18 seconds. Yeah, that's really good. T um, tell us a little bit more about Tech Time Out because I think it's really interesting. Yeah, so we, we um, started the business about a year ago um, and, we, and we, work with, um, we work with businesses to help their employees have healthy relationships with technology. So they do the Tech Time Out 10 challenge, which is about taking time away from your technology 10 days in a row. Uh, and then we survey all of the um, staff at the end of it and present the results back. Uh, and generally what happens is people agree they're too, they're too addicted to their technology. They spend time off it and then realise that they've got all this talent that they, they've uh, not um, not touched for a while. So we get we get people that go back into running, that you know, start playing badminton again. They, uh, they might go for a walk with the dogs. They play with the kids. Um, uh, or pick up a musical instrument, which is one of the things that I did. I picked up my bass guitar, which I hadn't done for about a year and a half. Uh, or they read a book. So it's it's fascinating. Um, generally working with um, sort of professional services, uh, call centres, energy companies. And then we have a, a sports company over in the States that um, has been through it and are big advocates of it. So. I think, um, I think um, it's a brilliant initiative. And... Um... I'm massively, you know, guilty of it being in, you know, in marketing, especially these days, which revolves around technology. You know, I'm always ready to look at what the next notification has come in, you know, whether yeah. I'm at work, at home, I'm always checking things. Um, and my average screen time, and I don't even want to tell you, <laughs> it's embarrassing. And it's probably worse than my kids. I um, mean, you know, my teenage kids, which is uh, nothing to, you know, nothing to write home about. So, yeah, it's yeah, brilliant. Um, where can people find out more about Tech Time Out? You've got the website? Yeah, techtimeout.co.uk is the go. website. Um, or uh, because we employ a lot of youngsters, you can go to our Insta uh, page, which is Tech Time Out. Uh, and we're even on TikTok. So, uh, love it. Love it. People, people my age can go on LinkedIn. Love a bit of TikTok, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the next part of, the, of um, the engine room is the big three to find yeah. out a bit more about you. Um, so what is your favourite quote that you like to live by? Yeah, so my uh, favourite quote, and I've used this one for years, is, is whether you think you can or you think you can't, you're probably right. Um, and it was Henry Ford uh, who um, it coined the phrase, well, you yeah, whatever, 100 odd years ago, I suppose. Um, yeah, I just think mindset is so important when you're um, setting out to achieve something. 
Uh, and, um, you know, I talk a lot uh, to the team in terms of, you know, when we're looking at clients, whether we can, can we go into a sector? Can we, you know, can we actually get Joe Wicks, for example, as one of our brand ambassadors? Well, you, if you think you can, you will. And if you think you can't, you won't. Um, and I find it, it works in all, all walks of life. I use it with my kids, unfortunately for them. Um, uh, but I practice it a lot in terms of uh, what I do as well. So I, last year I decided I was going to learn to ride a motorbike and people thought I was crazy. And I was like, well, it's only a motorbike. I must be able to learn, you know, learn how to do it. So, um, yeah, so that's my favourite my favorite quote. Yeah, I love yeah. that. I think, I think mindset, is, mindset is everything, isn't it, really? I mean, I'm, I'm kind of lucky. I've, I was always brought up to think I can. Um, and almost to the point where I think that I can do things I probably can't. <laughs> But, um, you know, yeah, I, I think that's right. Yeah, And I'm a bit like that um, at Finder as well. Yeah, we, of course we can get that done. And sometimes maybe yeah, yeah. it's unrealistic. But, but, you know, that's how change happens, isn't it? Yes, right, exactly. So what is your view on the future of UK manufacturing? Yeah, so, I, so I've, um, I've probably spent the best part of 20 years in and around UK manufacturing, either uh, in previous roles lending, uh, lending money to them or... Um, as I do now, alongside Tech Time Out, run a law firm that provides advice into manufacturers. Uh, I don't think it's ever looked so um, bright and, and bouncy, to be honest. I think um, everybody I speak to in the sector is is doing fairly well. I think um, we're, our offices are based um, in the black country, so we're heavily into automotive. And I think we've seen um, that supply chain adapt really well into the, the electric revolution that's, that's happening. Um, and it's been pretty impressive in terms of some of the stuff that some of the businesses have done um, that perhaps have always provided parts for the combustion engine and just watching them adapt um, and grow. So, um, yeah, I think that's, um, it's, it's good. Yeah. But, um, I think I get this weird feedback um, when, I, when I initially speak. It's very weird. But anyway, we'll, we'll press on. But yeah, no, really positive, um, that Neil. And your final question is, what is the biggest lesson that you've learned during your time in manufacturing? So um, my biggest lesson, I think, uh, would be collaboration um, and the importance of it. I think we've, far too long, we've always, sort of, you're, always you're always in competition. And I think that's changed. And I think we saw that in COVID with the PPE challenge that we had and the collaboration that was seen across the manufacturing sector. Um, and I think that will that will just get stronger and stronger. Um, and I think you'll probably see more uh, more joint bids for stuff as manufacturers combine their skills together in order to win contracts. Um, and it is certainly, uh, again, in the legal sector, the collaboration amongst law firms in terms of helping each other through um, the last 18 months has been tremendous. And I'm, I dare say it's been the same in manufacturing as well. So, yeah. Collaboration is key, I think, and the future um, future's bright. Brilliant. Yeah, no, I think I think you can definitely get more things done when you just work work with others, work with yeah. other companies, work with other people, great minds together. Um, so, yeah, thank you for that, Neil. So, look, we're nearing the end. It's been really good talking to you, but the final bit is I want to make sure you practice what you preach <laughs> with your tech time out. So... <laughs> A nice easy one for you hopefully yeah yeah um, when you're away from your technology yeah um, what is your favorite tech timeout activity yeah well so i'm a big runner and a big cyclist and um, so I, last week i completed the coast to coast which is 174 miles and then did a half marathon after that to celebrate the uh, 40th anniversary of the great north run um but i'm uh, my main goal this year is to run london marathon um in a qualifying time so that I can qualify to get to Boston. So I'd say my favourite tech time out activity is running at the moment. Um, this is why we have the calf injury. That's why I have the calf injury, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's really good. I, I, the body is an amazing thing. I'm really, you know, I'm, I'm really unfit at the moment. My body seems to be giving up, but I think maybe it's because I'm giving up <laughs> and my body's like taking, taking the lead from me. So I think I need to put my phone down yeah. Turn off my computer and go go out and get some exercise and start getting my body back into shape. Yeah. 
Sounds like a great idea. <laughs> Look, Neil, thank you so much. It's been great having you on The Engine Room. As Neil Lloyd from Tech Time Out, thank you ever so much. Brilliant. Thanks. See you later, Steve.